Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show how to set up TypeScript Node.js Express Server and then connect to MongoDB database. First, initialize npm by npm init, then install express and dot env by npm i express dot env. Also, install mongoose npm i mongoose. Now install the dev dependencies and pmi d TypeScript add TypeScript slash express add types slash node. The add types express and node are installed because without them TypeScript would not know types of express and node class. Now initialize TypeScript by npx tsc dash dash init. Now create an index.ts file. Go to tsconfig.json and uncomment this line out dir. This line specifies the location of the output directory where the compiled JavaScript file will be created. The output folder will be dot slash tist <coughs> now open the index.ts file and first import express request and response from the express library then import dot env from dot env and load.env.config method now declare a variable called app con step colon express equal to express then declare a variable called port which will be the port that i'll be using and it will be 5000 and then create a dot env file and declare the port as an environment variable now let's create a simple endpoint to test the server app.get then parenthesis slash comma within parenthesis request response then response to send expression types server We will also have to listen to the port so app dot listen port put in parenthesis console dot log server is running at port then dollar sign put in curly basis port Now go to package.json and create the scripts for build, start and dev. The script for build is npx tsc. For start it is node dist slash index.js. And for dev, the script will be concurrently reverse slash within inverted commas npx tsc dash dash words reverse slash code reverse slash code node mon dash q dist slash index.js reverse slash and double quotes in the dev script the command concurrently allows us to run multiple commands simultaneously which means they run at the same time in separate processes then within quotes is the first command which tells the 
this TypeScript compiler to run in watch mode. The watch mode automatically compiles any changes to the index.ts file. The second command is for node mon that restarts the server as soon as any changes are saved in the compiled index.javascript file in the dist folder. I still have to install nodemon in dev dependency so npmi slash d concurrently nodemon. Now start the development server by npm run dev. Let's check the browser, go to localhost 5000. Well, there seems to be an error. In the package.json file, I forgot to specify the location of the index.js file, which is in the dist folder. Now, save the changes and the server is running. Let's make a small change in the endpoint, save it, and the changes are being reflected in the browser. So, our server is set up and running. Now, in order to connect to MongoDB, we first have to install Mongoose. So, we write npmi mongoose. After mongoose is installed, we create a folder called model which will contain the schema for a node. Create a file called node.ts. In the node.ts file, import the necessary modules for mongoose from the mongoose library. So import mongoose, schema, document and model which are used to define the schema and the model for the mongodb documents. The node type defines a TypeScript type. This type represents a structure for node domain that will be stored in the MongoDB collection. And the node type will include two fields, title and node, both of type string. Create a Mongo schema named node schema using the schema class cons node schema column schema node type. To define the structure and data types for node, documents to new schema, then title which will be a string and node which will also be a string. Create a mongoose model node using the mongoose model method. This model represents the collection in the MongoDB database where nodes are stored. Cons node model node type. You can do mongoose model node. Then within parentheses node comma node schema. I export node model. Next go to text.ts file and import mongoose and the node schema. Also use app dot use express to JSON. Now let's connect to the MongoDB database. So mongoose connect within parentheses MongoDB colon double slash then the local IP is zero point zero 
0.01 colon 27017 slash this is the IP address of the local host and slash type script type express the name of the collection the name of the collection then if the database is connected we will console.log db connected and if there is an error we will log the error too Now let's get an endpoint to save some data. App dot post slash new node. The new the endpoint is saying request response. Now set up a try catch block in the try block destructure the request or body to get the title in the node const title node equal request or body const new node which is an instance of the node equal new node title and node now save the new node await new node dot save if the node is saved we will send response status 200 with message ok not saved set up the cache block if there is an error we will console log it and a sector and send a response status of 500 with the message note received. To test the endpoint, I will go to Thunder Client and make a new request. First, add the URL. Uh, let me quickly check the import number. Select the request type as post. Now set up the body which is a JSON. I will give the title as first node and node as test node. Send it. Okay, then I'm getting the response as status. Okay, not saved. I will also check in compass if the node is saved. Let's refresh it and select the type express collection ok the new node is here now i will create an endpoint to fetch the nodes app dot get get nodes async request response Set up a try catch block in the try block cons nodes await node dot find. This function will fetch all the nodes from the database and response to status 200 and send the nodes as JSON. The catch block will be the same as that in the new node endpoint so I will copy and paste it here now let's go to thunder client to test the endpoint change new node to get node and change request type to get click on and ok I fetch the nodes 
So this is how you set up a type script in Node.js Express server and connect to the MongoDB database. I hope you like this video and I will see you on the next one.